Hi, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the quote back into CRM after you've submitted it with your custom quoting tool that we created in a previous video. So I'm going to start out by sharing my screen. Hopefully, I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short video. <clears throat> OK, so. I'm in Zoho Creator. This is the, uh, the creator form we created last time. So what we want to do is we want to have it so that when you click submit, it's going to go and make a deal in Zoho CRM. Now, I've recorded this a couple of times. And each time I've recorded it, it's, uh, uh, didn't, it didn't work. So I'm going to have to recreate the code uh, or the recording didn't work. So I'm going to have to recreate the code again on camera. I'm going to be copying and pasting a bunch of stuff in. And then I'm going to explain what that code is. So let's start out by exiting a couple of these tabs and deleting this. <clears throat> so the first thing you actually want to do, is you want to create a standalone function. And the standalone function allows you to test, um, allows you to ensure that the code works um, a little better. Um, you can info a few more stuff. It's, it's, it's a good practice to do it this way. So we're going to go to functions, and we're going to create a new function. Create quotes on video. <clears throat> and namespace will be default. The return type will be a string. And I'll explain why we're doing this a little uh, bit later. The arguments are ID, and that's going to be an integer. So let's go and create the function. So now we're, we're going to create some architecture. The first thing we want to do is we want to get the information related to quote. Get info related to quote. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prep some of the related information. So prep related information. This will be things like product name, quote name. Uh, we'll get the account ID out of this, that kind of thing. Next thing we want to do is we want to search for the product, search for product in CRM. And if product doesn't exist, exist, create it. Makes sense because we want to add a product to a quote in CRM. We're going to need that product. And finally, or not finally, but almost finally, create the quote map. <clears throat> and then within the creating quote map, we're going to create line items. Very simple. Then we want to create quotes and then assemble quote URL. <clears throat> And then finally, that quote URL is going to be the returned object. So let's start out by getting the info related to the quote. Right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to get a quote record. Quote record equals, again, I'm going to copy this in, is the quote form. The ID is equal to the ID. And from there, we can get the deal ID the same way. It was the quote record dot deal ID. <clears throat> Make sense? The next thing we want to do is we want to create a product name equals. We're going to want to create a quote subject. Uh, we're going to want to get the deal record. so that we can get the account ID. And then finally, we're going to want to create a list price. And this will be important later on when we um, create the quotes that there is a unit price for the items. In this case, it's the square feet. So list price equals. So the product name is going to be very simple. We're just going to grab the concrete right, um, and the finishing. So we're doing that by grabbing the quote record. So quote record dot concrete grade and plus a little dash in the middle um, plus the quote record uh, finishing. 
Next thing we want to do is we want to create a quotes object. In our case, we're going to name it after the deal, right? Um, so again, quote record, quote record dot deal name plus the product name, which we created earlier, plus the day. We just want to add the day so that there's it's unlikely there's going to be uh, some overlap. <clears throat> Finally, we want to get the deal record. This is your standard Zoho dot CRM dot get record by ID. And we're looking in the deals and we're going to use the deal ID. Very simple. Uh, one thing that you want to note is you actually want to too long this deal ID. And from that deal ID or that deal record, we're able to get the account name and then get the ID. And finally, to get the list price, we're going to grab the quote record. We're going to grab the subtotal. Let me see if I could find it. You're going to want to grab the subtotal divided by the square feet. So let's just put that in here. Quote record subtotal divided by the quote record square feet. So this will give us the list price. Next thing we want to do is we want to search for the product in CRM. So we'll start by making a search criteria equals product name equals plus, and then we're going to use the product name from up here. Now that we have the search criteria, we want to grab the product record, right? And that's just a standard Zoho CRM dot search product record. So product record equals Zoho.CRM dot search product records. And then we paste in the search criteria right here that was found up here. That's why we made it. <clears throat> now, this gives you a list, right? There's a list of products that it could, it could find. In our case, it's only going to be one. <clears throat> but in your case, it may maybe more than one. It's possible. Um, so we're going to deal with that down here when we check to see if something exists. But before we do that, we want to define a product record ID, the null case. So product record ID equals zero. <clears throat> so next, we're going to check to see if we found one. So if product record dot size is greater than zero, we definitely have found one at that point. Then we want to grab the product record ID again equals the product record dot get zero dot get ID. And finally, the else case is if we didn't find um, a product. So we're going to create one in this case. This is why we have these uh, comments. So now we want to create a product. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a map. And then we're going to add a product name into that map. And then we're going to create the product. Again, because I've done this uh, filming a couple of times, I'm just going to paste in. Here is our map. We're then putting the product name. And remember, we defined the product name up here. And then we're going to create the product in Zoho CRM. Now, when we create the product, now we have a product ID. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Product record ID equals create product dot get ID. Very simple, right? <clears throat> So finally, we want to create the quote map. <clears throat> so obviously, you're going to want to create a map. So uh, we'll call it create quote map equals map. And then within that, we're going to need a few things like the subject, the deal name, and the account name. Now, the deal name in this case is go to quotes. It is this field, the deal name, and it's actually a lookup. So we actually need the deal ID. The good news is we already have all that information. We defined it earlier in the process. So here is the deal ID, here's the quote subject, and here is the count ID. We can just paste that information right in there. So our subject is the quote subject, the deal name is the deal ID, and the account name is the account ID, okay? So then we want to create the line items. Now, the interesting thing about quotes is these line items are actually, it's a list of objects in there. So um, you could have a bunch of 
items on a quote, you could only have one, but there, there's more than one. So we're going to want to start out by creating a list. Quoted items list equals list, right? Now, normally, if you have more than one items, you're going to want to loop through this next step. But for us, we don't need to do that. We're just making a quoted item object equals map. Okay. And then within there, we want to put the product, the quantity, and the list price. Now, in our case, we know what some of those are. The product is the product record ID that we defined earlier in this function. The quantity we're defining as the square feet. Right? And then finally, the list price, we calculated the list price up at line 15 here. Right? So now we have all of that information in a line item, and we want to add it back to the list. So quoted item list dot add quoted item object. <clears throat> so now it's in that list, and then we just need to add it back to the, um, the total quote map. So at this one up here, you create quote map dot put, and you want to put that in the product underscore details. And it helps if you comma, there you go, we paste. So now this is our created quotes. So we can go and make a new variable, create quote equals zoho.serum.create record quote. And we're going to create the quote map. And finally, we want to assemble a quote URL. Now, if I go to a quote and copy the URL and then bring that in, let's go URL equals. And then this number at the end here is actually the ID of the quote. So we want to add the ID of the quote we just created, get ID. And then we actually want to return that information. So what this is going to do is the input is going to then create a, the input is the ID and it's going to return a quote, a created quote URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to form workflows and create a new workflow. And this can do on creation, successful form submission, create quotes. I'm going to create a new Deleuze script. Um, <clears throat> quote URL equals this app dot. And then the create quote on video is the one that we created. The input is the ID. Let's add a semicolon. And then finally, because we've assigned the URL to this uh, variable here, we're going to go open URL. And that is the quote URL. And the window type is the same window. So I can go ahead and save. Then if I go back to CRM, I open a deal. I can click Create Quotes. I can select a concrete grade and the square footage, let's say it's 1,000. And then if I submit this information, it's going to bring me to the quote it just created. It's important to remember that spelling counts. Make sure it's quotes and not quotes. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Let's create the quotes. Concrete grade is blended. Smooth, 1,000 or 10,000, click Submit. It then brings me to the quote, and I've got my information right in here. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.